Hey guys, so I'm coming to you from somewhere a little bit different today. Um, I just thought I'd mix it up a bit. But today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about an area where I sometimes feel Linux uh, lags behind Windows a little bit, and that's in the area of live streaming. And I guess you could say that for sort of wider multimedia uh, creation tools as well. But at least specifically for me, it seems to be live streaming. Now, for those of you that are following my Twitch TV channel or uh, my gaming channel, you've probably noticed that I've actually been streaming quite a lot lately. And that's partly due to a huge upgrade in um, my broadband speed, thanks to a recent upgrade in the line in the area. Um, and one of the things I'd really like to do with Linux, because it handles memory and CPU usage and so much uh, better than Windows, uh, would be to stream more uh, games from Linux. And we're seeing an increasing number of games become available for Linux as well on the platform, if not through Steam, then good old games, GOG.com, have also uh, started uh, publishing games for Linux as well, and is definitely a clear shift towards um, Linux when it comes to games. Now, okay, it's not there yet, but in a couple of years, we can see Linux as a gaming platform competing with um, with Windows. I mean, it's already competing with Mac, really. Mac isn't considered a gaming platform. Games are considered something that you might do in a spare time if you don't have a console or whatever. And I guess if you are a Mac user, and you like playing video games, then I guess it's almost expected that you'd have a console or at least a Windows partition or a Windows machine or something like that. Um, but yeah, when it comes to live streaming and also to a degree recording uh, gameplay footage and, uh, you know, with some wider multimedia type things, uh, Linux does kind of lag behind Windows a little bit, um, but it is catching up. It's catching up day by day and it's very, very, very exciting times. I mean, uh, three years ago, we wouldn't have any idea that uh, the games for Linux would be as prominently available as they are today. And I only hope that trend continues in the exponential way that it appears to be going as well. Um, but that being said, I tried out, uh, there is a sub piece of software called Open Broadcast Software, which is uh, probably one of the most commonly used pieces of live streaming software available for, um, for Windows. And as the name suggests, it is in fact open source, and they are developing a port for Linux and Mac as well. And the Mac one is a little bit further along, as you might expect, but Linux isn't exactly being left in the dust either. Now, Open Broadcast Software is probably it's the most popular broadcast software available for Windows. It's what Twitch uses, it's what you can use on YouTube, uh, you can use it on Hitbox, you can use it on Ustream, Justin TV, all that kind of stuff. And um, and the Windows port is very, very good. It allows you to take multiple streams from a video, different monitors, you can add custom text, uh, custom graphics, custom images, custom overlays, all this kind of stuff. And it works really, really well. And it's got so many more features that, that any Linux client would be less left in the dust at this point. But they are developing a multi-platform version of open broadcast software. And it's, well, I say it's already available for Linux in what appears to be an alpha state. So I tried it out today. I tried to record some gameplay from Euro Truck Simulator 2. And I even tried to stream some Euro Truck Sim Simulator 2. Just one mission on each, just to see if it would work. And believe it or not, it did. It worked straight out of the box with no problems whatsoever. And I was even surprised at the number of features that the Multiplat had, even though they keep disclaiming that it's still quite early on in the process. Eventually, the Multiplat will have more features. But I was just thankful that Open Broadcast Software is, at least to me and on my system, which is Linux Mint 17, which will soon be upgraded to, I think it's Linux Mint 17.1, which is their, their uh, their, their, their sort of next iteration, which will be based on the long-term support release of Ubuntu, um, but it will, I, I assume it will upgrade some of its, you know, Linux Mint-based repositories and so forth as well. Um, and I got to say, it worked directly out of the box. Steam worked out of the box on the Mint 17 install. Uh, Open Broadcast Software worked out of the box on the install. The NVIDIA drivers upgraded perfectly, and it recommended the right ones for me uh, right out of the box. Um, I, I got to say, I'm surprised. Uh, almost a little bit creeped out. It kind of feels that I've come across zero bugs in not only setting up Linux Mint 17, which I kind of expected because Linux Mint 17 does pride itself on being stable, but open broadcast software, which cons cons you know consistently tells us that, that it's, it's not ready for production, um, and I guess it isn't, you know, I'm going to take their word for it. I'm not going to expect the world out of this, but I've got to say that even with this alpha build of open broadcast software, it's better than anything Linux currently has. Now, the best uh, piece of recording software up until now is a fantastic piece of software developed by one fella called um, 
Uh, it's called Simple Screen Recorder, and it's got lots of features. It works pretty well out of the box as well. But again, it's it's in beta, and you need to download, not download, you need to um, bring in a separate PPA. Uh, it's not available in the repositories for Ubuntu or Mint. Neither is open broadcast software. You need to uh, bring in two PPAs um, for for the open broadcast software, both of which worked perfectly well out of the box, which is fantastic. The only thing that I actually that didn't work on open broadcast software was it didn't pick up the webcam. Now, GEVC View um, did, so it's it's definitely a, an issue with the software, or at least just from from that um, summarization. But um, but again, I can live with that. I can completely, completely live with that, um, considering that this is by far the biggest advancement in um, multimedia Linux that I've seen in quite some time. And I've got to say, um, they are doing a fantastic uh, job over there at, at Open Broadcast Software. And I really hope to see some of these uh, trends continue. Um, because before long, we are going to see some some serious good stuff um, come, out of, come out of Linux. It, it, between Valve and Open Broadcast Software. And I've got to say, I think it is about time um, as well when it comes to, to live streaming, because we've always got, of course, got to bear in mind that Stream OS is based on Debian, and, Debian, and, and there are going to be times when people want to live stream content uh, from uh, Steam OS to, to the internet in the same way that you can do with the current generation of consoles. And Open Broadcast Software might just be um, the missing ingredient to that. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I think that's about it from me today. Let me know if you tried out Open Broadcast Software down in the comment section below. I will include all the links to try it out, but it does come with a disclaimer. Do try it at your own risk um, because they do tell you that it's it's not exactly um, uh, stable at the moment. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. Till next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now. So this is just the end slate, just to let you guys know uh, what other kind of projects I'm working on. For those of you that don't know, I have a, a second channel where I do more informal, casual type stuff. And I also have a gaming channel. So if you guys are into that kind of stuff, uh, you might want to check those out. Also, if you want to ask me any questions or just have a chat about whatever it is that I've been talking about in this video, feel free to check out my Twitter and my Tumblr as well. I spend a fair amount of time on them. Toodaloo.